A very good morning, dear children. Today we are going to discuss the chapter The Butterfly Mountain's Shadow from the book. Yesterday we have already discussed it with the help of the PowerPoint presentation and the mind map. Hope you all have drawn the mind map in your English literature notebook. If not, then please draw the mind map in your English literature notebook. And now please follow the chapter from the book. Okay? The, the Butterfly, Butterfly Mountain's, Mountain's Shadow. Shadow. Reading. Read, Read this passage that, that describes the experience of the narrator during a visit to a steep shrine. Now what is the meaning of shrine children? Let us see what is the meaning of shrine. The meaning of shrine is a religious place. Okay. The shrine means a religious place. On a mountain top in Sri Lanka. Experience the writer's rich descriptions of the beauty that surrounds her and learn about her feelings during the visit. Annie Powell, Annie Powell, I heard a gentle voice say. A little old lady in a white sari was looking at me. Sympathetic. What is the meaning of sympathetically, children? In a way that is kind. So, sympathetically means a way which is very kind, okay? Quickly shaking her head as she repeated the words which mean. Oh, poor thing, in the Sinhala language. Footnote, Sinhala or Sinhalese is the official language of Sri Lanka. I was sweating profusely, breathing hard and almost collapsing with exhaustion after climbing for more than two hours up the steep mountain path to Adam's Peak in Sri Lanka. Okay, so in this paragraph, what did we see? That, what is the story all about? This story is about the experience of the narrator during, his, during her visit to a steep shrine. Now, I told you what is the meaning of shrine? Shrining means a religious place. So, she visited a religious place which was at the top of a mountain and the way to the, that place is very steep, was very steep. And in which place is this mountain located? It is located in Sri Lanka. Clear? So, in this story, we are going to see the descriptions of the beauty that surrounded the narrator and learn about her feelings during the visit. Annie Pau, Annie Pau, I heard a gentle voice say. Now, this is the narrator is saying that while she was climbing up the stairs, up the steep stairs to reach the summit of that mountain, somebody at the back behind her said a gentle voice, a very kind voice, said any paw, any paw. When she turned back, what did she see? She saw that a little old lady in a white sari was looking at her. Sympathetically, sympathetically means in a kind gesture, okay, kind manner. And she was shaking her head as she repeated the words which mean oh poor thing in the Sinhala language. Now what do you mean by Sinhala? Sinhala is the official language of Sri Lanka. Clear? See, Sinhala or Sinhalese is the official language of Sri Lanka. So the little, the old lady was saying any for any for to the, to whom? To the narrator. And what does this word, these words mean, Anipo? It means, oh poor thing in Sinhala language. I was sweating profusely. Profusely means a large amount. What is the meaning of profusely? See here it's written in large amount. So the narrator was uh, sweating profusely, breathing hard and almost collapsing with exhaustion. Now what is the meaning of exhaustion? Exhaustion means a feeling of being extremely Tired, okay. Exhaustion means a feeling of being extremely tired. So the uh, narrator was sweating a lot and breathing hard. Breathing hard means taking very fast breaths, okay, and was almost collapsing with exhaustion. After climbing more or for more than two hours up the steep mountain path to Adam's Peak in Sri Lanka, so she. How, for how many hours is she climbing the stairs? For two hours. And how was the way? The way was very steep. Clear till here? Now we will continue.
Along with four friends, I had started the trek from the base of the mountain around midnight, which is the correct time to be able to reach the summit at dawn to watch the spectacular sunrise for which it is famous. It was about 2 a.m. and pitch dark all around, except for a snaking row of lights along the path, going impossibly high up, almost disappearing into the sky. Maybe that is why Adam's Peak is also called Swarga Rohanam, Climb to Heaven. Okay. So, along with four friends, so the narrator did not uh, visit alone to this place. The narrator visited along with, his, with her four friends. So, along with her four friends, she started the trek from the base of the mountain. So, she was trekking means, trekking means what? Climbing up the mountain on foot. Okay. So, from the base of the mountain, she started the trek along with her four friends around midnight. Why? Because to reach the summit. Now, what is the meaning of summit? Let's see. The top of a mountain. Summit means the top of a mountain. So, the narrator along with her four friends started the trick from the base of the mountain around midnight. Why? Because that is the correct time. To start in order to be able to reach the summit by dawn. Dawn means early sunrise. Means the sun has not yet fully risen in the sky. Okay. So it's just at the, uh, just before sunrise. Okay. Early morning. Very early morning. To watch the spectacular sunrise. What is the meaning of spectacular? Spectacular means extremely impressive. Okay, so what was, why they wanted to reach the summit before the dawn? Because the sunrise from there was really spectacular. For which it is famous and the Adam's Peak is basically famous for this sunrise. Early sunrise at the dawn. It was about 2 a.m. and pitch dark all around. Pitch dark means completely dark. So, it was at night, it was midnight, 2 a.m. So, obviously, it is supposed to be completely dark. So, it was completely dark all around. Except for a snaking row of lights along the path going impossibly high up, almost disappearing into the sky. So, it was uh, pitch dark all around. Except what? Except... A sneaking low of lights. Why sneaking low, row of lights, children? Because the row of lights looked like a snake. That is why here the poet, here the author has used this term sneaking row of lights. Along the path, going impossibly high up. So the path is very difficult. It's going high up. Almost disappearing into the sky. High up till where? It seems as if the lights have gone so high up that it is disappearing in the sky. Maybe this is why Adam's Peak is also called Swargarohanam. What is the meaning of Swargarohanam? Climb to heaven. So, the narrator wants to say that might, might be the row of lights takes them, take, will take them to heaven. Clear children till here? After that, let's see what happened, okay? I realized to my dismay that the rest of the way was going to be an even more strenuous climb up an almost vertical stairway to the mountain top. Most pilgrims who come to this sacred mountain may have done this marathon 2,243 meter climb many times. But for me and my companions, it was an experience of a lifetime, one of the toughest. Okay. Now what the poet is saying, uh, sorry, the author is saying, the author is saying that I realized to my dismay. What is the meaning of dismay? Surprise. Okay, the feeling of being very worried. So the real meaning of dismay is to be worried, to feel surprised, to feel worried about something. So, the, she realized to her surprise that the rest of the way was going to be even more strenuous climb. Strenuous, uh, sorry, means 
involving a lot of effort and energy. Okay, why it would be a more strenuous climb for them? Because the route from here is even steeper and more vertical than what they have climbed till then. Clear? So, I realized to my dismay that the rest of the way was going to be an even more strenuous climb up an almost vertical stairway to the mountain top. So, it seems as if the stairs are just but vertical. They are not even slanted. So, vertical, if you climb the vertical stairs, children, it takes more energy rather than the stairs which are a bit inclined or slanted. Most pilgrims who come to this sacred mountain may have done this marathon 2,243 meter climb many times. Marathon means running a long distance, isn't it? So this also 2,243 meter climbing by foot is just like a marathon only. So here the narrator is saying that most pilgrims, now I told you who are the pilgrims? The pilgrims are the devotees who visit their religious places. Okay, so most pilgrims who come to this sacred mountain, here the narrator is saying may have done this several times. But for her and her companions, it was an experience of lifetime. Because climbing so many stairs is not a matter of joke. One of the toughest. Because the route is full of difficulties. Okay. Clear till here all of you dear children.